It's for Westmore and the Democratic Party. Odette Ramos, Jill P. Carter, Corey McRae, Antonio Hayes. That's Westmore. This is to prove I was making a documentary about the judicial system. Commission expires July, right? That was notarized. Part of Central Towson came to us to a halt on Monday morning at the toilet. The toilet portion, the toilet forced to shut down, all right? This toilet is a political statement. That toilet was about Scott Schellenberger. That toilet was about Scott Schellenberger and the corruption in the courts in Baltimore County. It was about Sinclair Broadcasting, the Baltimore Brew and the media, the rural the media plays and misinformation. Scott Schellenberger is what you call a rhino, a Republican with a Democratic tag. That's me, Shorty. And I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger January 2011. All right? The courts. When y'all closed down the projects, y'all sent vouchers out Baltimore County. Your prison industry went on the rise. This is a new face of old Jim Crow. Yeah, we talking about the daily fake news, the Baltimore Sun and the Baltimore Brew, the Baltimore Banner. Yeah, let's talk about it. It's the art of getting money. You feel me? And we talking about the money you make off the prison industry. That's Judge Bell. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. Brown getting ready to be the attorney general. So everything Brown got, he got to turn over. That's Landers and that's Delegate GOP Carter. And I'm getting ready to open a can of whoop ass on y'all. That's Russell Neverdine. All right, he signed off on this. Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Good to see you, Adam May. WJZ. That's Dwayne Shorty Davis. Linda Dodge of Parole and Probation. And WJZ. Consent to be videotaped. Y'all got to play that whole videotape for the voters. Governor O'Malley, parole and probation. Ex-felons got a right to vote. Yeah. Motion to squash the subpoena and the protective order. Y'all squash the subpoena, protect your corruption. You feel me? Dear Mr. Davis. Has caused a subpoena to issue to the following people. Jake Wishnew Ray Davis, Patricia Cook, James Hammond, Karen Parks, Paul Weinblatt, Scott Schellenberger, Peter Francott, Governor O'Malley, Adam May, Kai Jackson, Sheriff Fisher, Judge Turnbull, Sergeant Duvall, Malcolm Ruff, Frank Conway, Pilot Towen, Special Agent Richard McFeely of the FBI, Barry Sim, Senator Cardins, Shelton DeWintes, Mr. William Wells, Frederick Belfield. Y'all got this? Mary Pat Clark, Jack Young, Bill Henry. Carl Stokes, Senator Broshan, Kathleen Pugh, Judge Pearson, Judge Bell, Nathaniel McFadden, Barbara Mikulski, Eric Holder, Congressman Rupersberger, Chief Baltimore Editor Timothy Ryan, uh, NAACP President Benjamin Jealous, Wendell K. Sutton, Christian Schaefer, Richard Scher, Robert Lang, ABC2, Charles Gibson, Judge Boris, Waukegan Public Defender, Mr. Bailey, Governor Ehrlich, President Obama. All right? That's in the courts. It's certified. It's in the courts. File papers against Governor O'Malley, Baltimore Chief High, I mean, Chief James Johnson, State Attorney Greg Bernstein, and Scott Schellenberger. I never got a trial. I never got a trial. Demand an action, a replevin, to return the personal property. Y'all never returned my property. That property was worth $250 million. All right? That property was worth a lot of money. And these are the cases. That first case was a $54 million lawsuit against the state of Maryland. Illinois, Maryland, city, county, state, and federal levels. Odette Ramos got this. Councilman Conway got this. Glover. Middleton, yeah. And this was the case. I never got a trial. You feel me? State of Maryland, Bank of America, Governor O'Malley. It was about the money y'all was making off of stop and frisk and zero tolerance. See my storm falls road? Governor O'Malley, 
This is my third letter and attempt to be heard and answered. Remember that? Get shorty. And you got shorty. You got shorty. That's Martin O'Malley. Dwayne Shorty Davis. All right. Baltimore County Detention Center. You feel me? You got that? J. Wendell Sutton. Office of Governor, Office of Minority Affairs. So Westmore, when you became when you become governor, you gotta hear this case. You feel me? I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist. Office of Minority Affairs. Ex felons got a right to vote. Governor O'Malley can go to jail for the money he made off black bodies. That's March 13th, 2009, 1402 Lochner. I was kidnapped from my house. See who that is? That's Kathleen Pugh. You see who these are? These are your elected officials. You feel me? I got all of y'all on page and on paper. That's Barbara Mikulski. That's Dutch Rupersberger. That's Senator Cardins. All right. Consideration of motion to squash the peanut and the motion to prevent the order for Governor O'Malley, Bob Ehrlich, Comptroller Peter Francott, Attorney Scott Schellenberger, Sheriff Jay Fisher, John Turnbull, Michael Pearson, Court of Appeals, Judge Robert Bell, Sheriff Duvall. All right. You file a protective order because, like I said, I tried to take you to court. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. I ain't a jailhouse snitch. And I was talking about Governor, o Governor O'Malley and this stop and frisk. Yeah. We traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and you made our kids the cash crop. That's from 2009. You feel me? That was at the census out in Baltimore County. That's Pastor Jerome Stevens. All right. Like I said, this is all about Scott Schellenberger. That's Stephanie Hopkins from the state's attorney's office. Office of the Attorney General, 2013. You feel me? Shorty's Pit Beef and Ribs. Country Store. That's Clinton Kelly. In Salt Lake City, as far as your request to get a sandwich, I came into your restaurant to get a sandwich about 10 days ago. I enclosed the Sundance Film Festival information. As you can see, unfortunately, the submission deadline has passed this year. For next year, it's 2009. You feel me? Like I said, I was making a movie about Baltimore. Dwayne G. Davis, Department of Corrections. That's May 11th, 2011. That's my lawyer, Thomas Saunders. You feel me? That's 2012. That's 10 years ago. This is the White House, 2009. Dwayne G. Davis, 1402 Lochner. Thank you for contacting the office of President Barack Obama. The president appreciates you taking the time to voice your concerns and opinions. You feel me? That's President Obama in 2009, before I got locked up. United States District Court, District Court of Maryland. Complaint for fiduciary fraud, unlawful breach, and fiduciary and declarational relief. A writ of mandamus. You feel me? And I filed that. I never got a trial. That's Rob Fix. It's my director, my producer. All right. Governor Martin O'Malley needs to return all videos, legal material received since 2006 until this day in 2012. And that's the case number. People versus Davis. It is hereby ordered to the defendant's personal property and evidence shall be returned to him no later than after January 7, 2010. I never got my property back when y'all kidnapped me in 2011. It was a videotape. It had everything on it from December the 23rd. No, from the 22nd when I left Baltimore till I got to Chicago. This is from two th 1986. That's the property you stole. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. Filed January 8th, 2007. You feel me? This is Dred Scott, the Supreme Court. All right. Tani, a staunch supporter of slavery with the intent to protect the Southerners from Northern aggression, wrote the court's majority opinion that because Scott was black, he was not a citizen and therefore had no rights to sue. Well, I'm black and I got a right to sue. I own me. This is emails for our elected officials. That's James Hammond. And that's right here. Dear sir, dear madam. All right. 
That's May of 2008. So you took possession of my store while I was locked up in another state. That's the controller's office. I asked for an audit. Y'all stole a lot of money from me. Over $300,000. You feel me? Over $300,000. Schellenberger should have did this September 2008. Federal and state violations. Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, James Hammond conspired to defraud the government. Schellenberger says sue, and I'm going to sue. That's Sheriff Fisher. My house on 1402 Lochner. That's 2010. Sheriff Fisher, the letter requesting to defend my civil and constitutional right of property under the Maryland Constitution and the United States Constitution. You feel me? And that's certified, notarized. You feel me? United States Constitution, due process, equal protection under the law, black and Hispanics. And these are mail receipts. All right. Like I said, Shorty Davis, J. Wendell. Wendell Sutton, that's Lieutenant Governor Brown, that's David Irwin, federal bar number, you feel me, federal bar number, that's David Irwin, that's Thomas Saunders, and I put everything in the book, that's my lawyer, 2010, January 2010, Mr. Bailey, all right, and these are the people that got a copy of the letter. That's notarized. You see that? That's notarized. Long before I got locked up, President Barack Obama, Lisa Madigan, Patrick Fitzgerald of Department of Justice, FBI, Washington, D.C., Governor Quinn, Governor O'Malley, Lake County Board, Judge Bell, Carl Snowden, the Civil Rights Division, Eric Holder, Senator Hillary Clinton, renouncing my citizenship. All right. Senator Cardin's Judiciary Committee, Karen Parks, Fox 45, Roland Ascot Martin, you see that? TV One, CNN Black Voice, Baltimore Office of the NAACP, y'all had this. This discrimination in public accommodations. Like I said, that's the White House, 2009. Letters to my president. And that's Barack Obama. That's Ed Norris. All right, 2004, commissioner found guilty. You feel me? Arson for profit, ticket theft, Hispanics for justice. I work with CASA, and I've been working with CASA for a long time. Poquito Negro, loco en la cabeza. All right? Prisoner smuggling. All right, drug shakedown. You traded the penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and you made my black community the cash crop. Blacks, Hispanics, and poor white. I went to court to file a class action lawsuit, a class action lawsuit about the war on drugs. Scott Schellenberger got that information. That's Judge Boris. We're going to make this real clear. That's Judge Boris, and that's Dwayne Davis, 1402 Lochner. You feel me? Care of Governor O'Malley, Governor Quinn, Judge Bell, Carl Snow, and Civil Rights Division. Patrick Fitzgerald, Attorney General, Lisa Madigan, Chicago, Baltimore, Washington, FBI, Release All Materials, NAACP Office, Civil Rights Division, Senator Cardins. All right, y'all got that. Dear Judge Boris, I respectfully request you respect my constitutional right of self-representation as I requested in the first letter. All right, April 6, 2007. You feel me? All that is here. And right here. Dear Mr. Davis, Cockeysville, Maryland. I was the only man with a black man with a, owned his own store. And that's August 2007. In regards to your documentary, I will not be able to appear. If my office can be any further assistance or future concerning your problems with the federal agency, please do not hesitate to answer. That's Senator Cardins. That's Senator Cardins. And our problem is you killing our black kids. We traded a penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and our kids the cash crop. You go to Odette Ramos. They got this. Odette Ramos, Glover, Conway, Costello, Middleton. These are the supporters of shorties. All right? These are the supporters of shorties. You see the address? City Hall. Y'all got this. These are the supporters of shorties. I went city, county, state, and federal levels, and I had people sign off on this. 
a lot of people signed off on this. And we talking about free speech, even for the Westboro Baptist Church. And I'm going to exercise my right of freedom of speech. This is the case. People of the state of Illinois versus Dwayne G. Davis. 86 CF 293. Charles Scott, presiding judge. Defendant Davis was charged by information with one theft of count, five thefts of unlawful possession. After the jury trial, he was found guilty on all counts. Judgment was entered only on the theft conviction. The defendant was sentenced to a term of three years in the Department of Corrections. On appeal, the defendant argues he was not provided, he was not proved guilty of the theft beyond a reasonable doubt, and that the jury was improperly instructed at the trial. All right? I won that case on appeal. It's all right here. You feel me? I was found innocent April 27th, 1988. You feel me? Court of Appeals. That's 2008. That's President Bush. Like I said, letters to my president, Mr. Davis, 11950 Falls Road. That's Miss Humphreys, Mr. McGee from Parole and Probation. That's public safety, because I was on parole. Davis versus Baltimore Police Department. You feel me? That's Humphrey and Parole. They got that paperwork. That's 10 1 2009. This is Lake County. Department of Probation and Parole, Mr. Diggs, I am writing you in conditions of I placed Mr. Davis on 07 CF4988 as a result of his condition sentence in Illinois has informed me that he is reporting probation and has a curfew. The sentence in Illinois has a non-reporting probation with a mental evaluation and public service hours. I am trying to learn why he has been placed on reporting and status and a curfew. You feel me? Y'all had me under two different rules. The movie was about racism. Richard Sher, ABC2 News, Governor O'Malley, Governor Quinn, parole and probation, Mr. McGee. You feel me? Y'all got that. I asked for a public hearing in 2009. 1402 Lochner, public hearing. Baltimore City Courts. The letter confirms that Judge Marcella Holliman received your letter dated February 2009 regarding your above reference matter. This is not a pop proper pleading. I file papers with the court. If I file them on Twitter paper, you got to take them. You better read Gideon versus Wayne, right? And like I said, Richard Share, let's square off. See the date? 10 1 2009. That's the Attorney General's office. All right? Attorney General's office. Spring Grove Medical Facility. Consent to be videotaped. Everything that I did at Spring Grove, y'all need to play for the public. WJZ need to play the whole hour and a half interview for the voters. Dwayne G. Davis, Shorty, parole and probation, Linda Dodge. We talking about a class action lawsuit. We talking about $250 million and the media played a strong role in that. That's Governor O'Malley, parole and probation. We talking about the money you've been making off black bodies. A Shorty documentary. You feel me? And these are the people. I named you. Governor O'Malley, Police Chief Johnson, Greg Bernstein, Scott Schellenberger. Say if you want to hide something, hide it in a book. Police Chief Commissioner Belfield. And that's the case number. I never got a trial. 1402 Lochner. Now, if you go to the Maryland Public Defender's Office today, I gave them my whistleblower's application. I refiled the paperwork that I did in 2011. I'm back on my feet. I'm standing my ground. And I need a trial. I never got a trial. If you took me to court for terrorism, that was a false charge. Use the positions of your power to incarcerate me. That's against the law. I'm a free black man. I own me. Your weakest link is Scott Schellenberger. I want him to win. Because on January 20, January 3rd, Ivan Bates goes into office. Judge Carrion got to turn over that information. And then we're going to prosecute Scott Schellenberger the same way you did me. We're going to parade him across the news. 
Adam May, Kai Jackson, Mary Mubala, Vic Carter, Fern Shen, Mackenzie Frost, Shannon Lilly, Jeff Abel, man, Senator Cardins. We're going to tell the truth and we're going to shame the devil. It's the art of getting money. I'm an activist. I'm not a terrorist, but I'm going to terrorize you with the truth in 2023. Delegate Stephanie Smith got this information. I gave Odette Ramos and the city council this information on Wednesday. Told them to make a copy of it. Westmore, man, you said no one left behind? I got first. As soon as you swear in the office, I got first. Governor Hogan, when you get out of office, that means that prosecutorial immunity doesn't apply to you. You can get charged. Just like Sparrow T. Agnew, this is going to be your Watergate. Scott Schellenberger and Shorty. Fake news and money. Black lives don't matter. Black money do. Black votes do too.